I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Hi. I'm currently in the shower. Apparently I can vlog in the shower now if the lens doesn't get too fogged up. But I thought we could do a bit of an at-home panther day in light of the lockdowns in Australia. Luckily, as I'm doing this, Queensland is no longer in lockdown or Brisbane, Southeast Queensland, which I'm so grateful for. But I thought since, you know, a lot of people can't go get their hair done, their nails done, brows done, let's do an at-home panther session together. So, I've already taken the first step, which is popping on a nice tan, Bali Body Dark, which I feel like is a really nice color for me. It's not too crazy. Hands are not too bad. And I'm currently washing my hair, as you can see. I think what I'm gonna do is tint my eyebrows, shave my face, um, do my nails again, because these are a little bit expired. Do a face mask. I've been using my Kepi Co face mask a lot lately because my skin had a bit of a freak out a few months ago and it's still on end. So I'm gonna stop talking. But I'm gonna use purple shampoo today. Probably use purple shampoo once, once every other wash. It depends really. Um, ooh, it's a little foggy now. <laughs> and I probably leave it in for like 45 seconds. Ooh. Oh, no, that's made it worse, Connor. <laughs> I don't have anything to like. <laughs> Normally I set up my tripod, but I can't be bothered. I will come back to you when I'm out of the shower. Currently washing my towels, so we're using the old towels. Let me just, so I can see myself. <laughs> this is my skin. My period's a bit soon, so we've got a couple breakouts, but for the most part, we're doing all right. Crashing down. I'm gonna pop on some skincare. Keeping it simple today. I'm not gonna go too in depth with my skincare routine today. I'm gonna moisturize my whole body with this Lano Lips Everywhere Multi Cream. It's super, super hydrating. And my skin lately has been super dry. So this is like a must, but I'm gonna pop this on. And All right, so it's a little bit later now. Hair has just air dried. I'm gonna do a face mask and we're gonna use this Peppy Co face mask. I worked with Peppy Co a few times on my channel. Basically, this is gonna be a non liquid face mask. It's gonna be some light therapy. One of my nails popped off, so I'm gonna go grab some nails after this and we can do that. Oh, it's a bit chilly, I'm sitting by my window. If you've never seen an LED light mask before, basically, this is what it looks like. It's a LED light mask that has little block out glasses so it doesn't hurt your eyes. You plug her in. If you can see that, the light comes up and you can tap on the side to change the light. The different types of light kind of target different problems or concerns for your skin. I've been trying to use this maybe like two or three times a week since my skin had that breakout like a few months ago. I'm like slowly healing all the acne scars if you can kind of see over here. Do you have messages me saying you've actually tried this and you really really like it so that's super awesome because i know how much skin can influence your self-confidence and it's such even though it's very surface level and you should love your skin no matter what having acne is not fun sometimes acne scarring is the worst as well because your acne might be gone but if you're left over with the pigmentation you still don't feel your best i wear the mask for 10 minutes at a time i usually do the blue light because the blue one is the one that targets acne bacteria you can also use this for say half an hour and switch the light every 10 minutes. So the red's really good for anti-aging and boosting the collagen in the skin and also helps with fine lines and wrinkles. Blue, like I said, is really good for acne and preventing breakouts and inflammation. And then yellow is good for detoxifying the skin. So that one helps with pigmentation and any discoloration you might have in your skin. LED light therapy, since it is non-invasive, obviously, it's really good for skin conditions like rosacea, dermatitis, and sun damage as well. It's super safe and it doesn't hurt at all. It's just a light. Obviously, you need to be consistent with it if you want to see results. Basically, I just pop her on, chuck in some AirPods. It's a perfect excuse to just switch off, not do anything, just listen to some music or a podcast. So I'm going to do the blue light now. You can get 30% off for the month of August. So if you want to check her out, everything will be in the description box. As soon as you plug it in, the 10 minute timer starts. So let me do blue. And I'm just going to chillax. <laughs> Isn't this fun? And just let it do its thing. This is literally all you do. So BRB. I'm also just gonna pop on some of this. Um, I have a lash lift, if you can see. I use this on it, which is the Advanced Aftercare Formula for Lash Lift. Just pop some of that on there. 
And I'm gonna brush it through my eyebrows. All right, we're gonna tint these eyebrows. I haven't had them done probably since end of May. This is what they're looking like. I don't really touch them that often, but I feel like it'd just be nice to have them a little bit darker, you know? And then after this, I'm gonna probably stick on my nails. Last night, I painted a bunch of my nails white. I didn't film it, but I have a weekly vlog where I show you in depth how I, how I do those um, stick on nails. I do them very long. We're not gonna be doing them that long today. Um, All right, Grumpy. Hi. I used to tint my dad's eyebrows like once a week. Jeez. Yeah. I think about maybe that much. And then you do 10 drops of that. I don't know, she must've just popped out. Ah, it's about 10. I'm gonna use a brush, I think, instead of what it comes with. I don't know how people do this on their eyes because I think I've tried to do it a couple times and I always end up burning the absolute shit out of my eyes. There. I'm not doing that today. I've seen a few people do like at home brow laminations. Don't know how I feel about doing that, but I'll probably leave it on for probably not 10 minutes because it's dark brown and I want really dark eyebrows. Maybe like eight minutes to paint this on. Jolly. Obviously you want to keep it in the shape of your eyebrow, <laughs> but it definitely makes such a difference just having your eyebrows tinted a little bit. That's the look you're after. It's like when I get a lash lift and I remember how good it is to just have your lashes lifted all the time. Ooh, this looks cute. Yeah, my hands look a bit rough on camera, especially with the no nails. I actually haven't done this in so long. I'm just gonna start the timer now. Done it, possibly. All right, so I need a Q-tip and I hope the front of that's all right. Yeah, that's not all right. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm gonna get set up for my um, nails. If you've never seen me do this before, you're in for a treat. <laughs> if you've been around for a while, this will be like OG Connor with the nails. I used to have my nails literally this long. Um, I don't know how I went to the gym is my real question. I'm not gonna make them that long today, but I've painted them all. Basically, it's like a bag of nail tips that I get from Amazon. I just painted them all. Why does my, my hands look so orange? I just painted them all white. I left them overnight and now I'm gonna stick them on. I didn't have all my sizes though. So these are all the nails here. I'm just gonna file off some of the excess nail polish from when they overflowed. Should I be wearing black for this? Definitely not. <laughs> it can be a little bit time consuming. I don't think it will be today, but sometimes I would spend, the time consuming part is the filing. When they were super long, I wouldn't change the shape of them that much. I would just kind of file the tips of them, but I obviously need to file them a little bit more. So they're not gonna be this long. Part of me wants to make them really long just to feel nostalgic. <laughs> I just use regular white nail polish to paint these. It's not gel or anything. Uh-oh, I got that on my skin. Oh no, I really did get that on my skin, didn't I? Why have I not been painting? <laughs> Very dark. <laughs> no. Mm, it's stained my. Oh, they are. They look very dark on camera right now, but. Yeah. They are obviously dark, but I don't mind darker eyebrows on blonde hair anyway. And they will. Me trying to convince myself that they're fine. <laughs> uh, they're gonna lighten up. Anyway. Yeah. That's kind of what I make them look like when I put brow gel in them anyway. So since I've like run out of some of my sizes for my other fingers. I'm gonna have to file them down a little bit so they can fit my nail bed. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna fast forward this part because it's kind of boring.
swept into my life Such a magic feeling We tore down my walls I wish I could go back To right before you told me I'd try to change it all But look at us now I could have gone so far It hurts to realize we're parted Yeah, look at us now This is who we are and I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again tried much harder all we have are scars you said we'd get so high Alrighty, so it's now the next day actually i realize as i get busier and busier it's just like not realistic for me to try and film dedicated videos like this all in one go just because i've got other responsibilities to do you know these are the eyebrows they're still quite dark but they're not too crazy these are the nails i'm pretty happy with them um my left hand's definitely better because i got better at it because i got better at it the more i went along but i'm very happy with that these are so we went with like a little bit of a square vibe they're longish i will mean compared to what you saw previously these are not very long at all but i've just rewashed my hair because i wanted to be able to style it nicely and I was gonna shave my face but I've got makeup on and my skin's a little bit acne prone at the moment so I don't want to irritate it too much but usually what I do to shave my face is I just use these eyebrow razors um, that just look like this I think I bought like a hundred of them on Amazon once there's lots of um like face shaving videos online and basically all I do is I put on kind of like a face mask or some sort of cream or like aloe vera gel sometimes and I'll pull my skin taut and just very lightly shave off the dead skin peach fuzz on my face. But you don't wanna go over any like, like pimples or anything like that, obviously, because you don't wanna cut acne or pimples. It is now the night time and I've just gone to the gym, but I've obviously had a shower and I've washed off my makeup, but I'm about to go to my parents' house. So I thought I would kind of put this clip in before I do my hair. So I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm also gonna shave my face, even though I literally just said I wasn't gonna do it. I'm not gonna really go near any active breakouts. Also, this is from a barbell. Apparently I love whacking my chin. I'm not an expert on this, by the way. So I'm just gonna put on like a thicker, kind of like a face mask. It also helps skincare kind of absorb. I, I can't talk while doing this, so, um, BRB. <laughs> One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. And much your lover who don't use big words, yeah. Because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out What's going on in your heart Alright, so that's that done My face obviously is probably a little bit red It just feels nice and smooth But I'm going to go in And start putting my makeup on This is the LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream it Smells Delicious I'm going to use a mixture of the Dior Backstage, which is probably expired, and this Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. Just mix them together. Ooh, I'm glowing. I also am gonna have to redo my hair, even though you're about to see me do it from wet to dry. The way I edit these videos, man. Um, for foundation, I'm gonna use MAC Face and Body. I'm gonna mix together the color C2 and C3, just a tiny, tiny bit. I love this foundation. Just mix it in. I love using my hands for makeup now. I used to hate it. It's also not like the best thing in the world to put makeup on after you've just shaved your face. Hang on, I'm just gonna close my door. Obviously it's better to let your skin breathe and let your skincare soak in, but I'm, 
I'm in the mood to put on makeup and I'm going somewhere. So I've been loving the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Custard. And I just take it on the brush and I'm gonna spot conceal. It's literally incredible. I think I saw Michaela on TikTok do this when she did like her, how she conceals her acne routine. Um, this is what I used to do when I had terrible acne. I would just put concealer kind of where I needed it. And it honestly kind of looked like I had no makeup on. So that's kind of the vibe we're going for. Let that sit there. I'm gonna pop a little tiny bit of concealer under my eyes. Then I'm just gonna lightly blend out acne concealer, if you will, with a stippling brush. The longer you let it sit on your face, the kind of more coverage it maintains. That is the skin. I feel like I looked a bit overexposed then. I'm gonna set my face a little bit with Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation, just a little bit. This will help to add coverage. It's in the color NC35. Just kind of focus it around here. And then lightly like on my T-zone, just assess it a little bit. Then bronzer. Ooh. Because I haven't like set my face a lot, it's kind of sticking. Let me just blend everything out. Forehead. It's crazy how different I used to do my makeup. Like I would literally use a beauty blender, bake. I would wear so much foundation, just like full, full beat all the time. And I had good skin. It was just like, I just loved it. It was just my favorite thing ever. Whereas now, I much prefer a more quote unquote natural look. Blush. I'm use Laura Messi. My hair is so funny. How pretty is this color? That's it there. It's in the shade Bellini. I use a duo fiber brush on my cheekbones. That is the face. I think I'm gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna brush them up, honestly. For eyeshadow, I'm just gonna take a dirty eyeshadow brush. Just put some bronzer in, in my crease. And I'm gonna do a little wing. No, did I get too close? I figure it out. So apparently I've gone for this, not dramatic, but like kind of dramatic for your Wednesday night as I'm filming this. <laughs> I was gonna smudge out the wing, but I think I'm gonna leave it. I kind of love it. And then I did some pretty intense mascara, but I'm gonna spray my face with some MAC Fix Plus. Okay, then I'm gonna hmm, see how this lip gloss goes. This is the lifted gloss from Maybelline in the color, I don't know, it's like a pink nude. I'm gonna put that on pretty. And then I'm gonna top it with this Morphe gloss in the color chill. It's like a super nude color. All right, that's the finished. Up. It's like dramatic, but then the skin is super natural as well And I almost love when the lipstick gets a little bit worn in and almost comes off a little bit I feel like when it looks the best Because I don't love Super harsh lipstick on me You're gonna go back to me Having a little bit different makeup on same basically skin just minus the Lipstick and the eyeliner, but I'm gonna do my hair in that clip. So I also need to paint my toes. Fun fact about me, I don't think I've ever gotten a pedicure. I don't feel like I could. I couldn't deal with someone touching my feet. I've washed it how I normally would. I put in my hair products, like a heat protectant and kind of like a leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna use my Dyson Air Wrap. I don't, do I still have any of those like rolly thingies? 
this has definitely been worth it for the purpose of curling my fringe or styling my fringe um, or it's grown out quite a lot at the moment but to get that kind of swoopy look that's very in right now I think you definitely don't need this you can just use a regular round brush and you can kind of just see how I go about it I'm about to do the fringe of my hair. It's not like super curly. There's a little bit more to it than it's just been blow dried straight. Like if you know what I mean. So we're going to leave the hair at that. Um, but I'm just going to do my fringe. It feels nice and shiny. Um, I use these attachments and I go boom. Well, I kind of just go boom, boom. Let them sit for a second and then brush them out. Depending on how much I want them to be swooped. So. And you got me like girl. I don't want it to be too curved or anything. Sometimes they don't turn out the same, but that's all right. All right, that is my hair. That's usually what I do if I can be bothered to blow dry it. <laughs> Sometimes I'll let my whole hair air dry and then I will just style my fringe because I feel like it makes such a difference. So that's the hair. See, it's just a little bit more bouncy. There's a little bit more something to it. I'm gonna take off the current nail polish that are on my toes. I don't think I'm gonna film me painting my toes just because I feel like putting such a close-up shot of my feet on the internet is kind of weird. But I'm gonna paint them white. Time's about run now to use those big words, yeah. I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want. Baby, dig deep, it's time to make a move on my heart. What's it gonna take for me? 